Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the latest release for the Droid X. Uh, this is the newest ROM that is available. Uh, there's not been a lot of love shown to the Droid X lately, or um, other phones from this era like the Droid X2, or the Droid 2, or the Droid 2 Global, uh, but we have a port of Liquid 1.5 now, thanks to 13th Angel X. He did develop it, if it'll boot up here. Um, so this is the boot animation for the new Liquid port by 13th Angel. And this ROM runs incredibly smooth. It is based on Ice Cream Sandwich, and it has tons and tons of customization. So that's like the main thing about this ROM is how incredibly customizable it is. So we're going to get into some of those customizations. I'm going to show you just how fluid it is. Um, you'll see just why it's called Liquid. Uh, but for those of you guys that are still on the Droid X, if you want to see more of these Droid X videos, please be sure to click the like button so that I know that you still want to see these. I know that there's plenty of you guys out there. This was one of the more popular phones when it first came to market. Uh, but from the lock screen, this is customizable. I'll show you guys that here in a minute. But you did see that it was the, um, the lock screen. So the first thing I want to do here is show you what exactly works. On the Droid X ROMs, since we don't have hardware acceleration, there's some things that just don't work. So like in the camera, we can take pictures and that works perfectly but if we go to the video camera and try to record a video it's going to force close so for now the video camera is not working on this build of liquid okay so as far as YouTube YouTube's working perfectly you can play high definition videos in YouTube um, but Netflix I was having issues with I did try to uh, play a video in Netflix and all I got was a black screen so there is YouTube. And we should be able to play it in high quality. And it is in high quality there. So that's YouTube. We'll go back home. And Netflix, like I said, I was having issues loading it. I pretty much got a black screen on Netflix. Okay, so we get the loading screen. Nothing. So just going to play a black screen, uh, so Netflix is not working properly. But other than that, this thing is just really working well. It flies, as you can see, it flies through the screens very quickly. And uh, we'll get into the customization real quick. We'll go into settings, and we'll go into uh, the shortcuts here. You have your advanced settings. Um, you can open recovery, you go to your performance. And the maximum, you can't really overclock because... Uh, we are on a locked bootloader, so we're not able to overclock, but well, we can set a governor. So you can set your governor there, and you have a prop modder. Uh, for, as far as the interface goes, there's some settings here in general. Uh, you, have, you can disable the boot animation. You can do 180 rotation so that you can flip the phone all the way around. It'll go with you there. You can turn on and off CRT animations. You take your screenshots. Um, carrier label, you can change that. I always change that to Droid Modder X. Uh, you can change your rotation delay, so if you make it smaller, it'll rotate a whole lot quicker. You can change your long press home there. Navigation, I choose to leave these off since we do have physical keys here, but you can have on-screen navigation buttons, uh, and you can customize those as well. Power menu, you can choose what to have in your power menu, so like when you press and hold the power button, this is your power menu, and you can set what you want to show up in there. And the status bar, you can change all your toggles here. Uh, you can enable the toggles that you like. So when you pull this down, you have your toggles up here. And you can even go with the toggle style. So if you like icon only or text only, and you can choose to have alternate toggles or uh, regular toggles. Uh, you have some other things that you can modify here, like your clock style. You can set that to the center or to the right or none at all. Uh, you can choose AM, PM style. Uh, you can change the color of the clock on the fly. So just to show you that it works there. Battery, you can change the style here to percentage, uh, text or icon. Uh, even the circle battery is there. You can change the color of the battery. And you can also change the signal there as well. So there is most of your customization. It does come with a trebuchet launcher. Or actually, this is the Liquid Smooth Launcher, which is just a modified version of Trebuchet. Lots of settings in the launcher, but we won't really get into that. Uh, you can set up your lock screen, uh, like I showed you guys. You can change the text color. 
Um, you can put volume weights if you want to wake up the phone just by pressing volume. You can do that. Volume controls on the lock screen, which is pretty cool. You can add fast torch to the lock screen, so like whenever you hit uh, the power button while your screen is off, it'll turn on your camera. I mean, it'll turn on your your torch. And then let's see here. You should be able to set up your actual targets, so you can choose something and you can choose an application here and any application hit OK and then hit save and that lock screen shortcut will be saved so now when you go up you can go directly into Netflix that's pretty cool so like I said lots of features here guys uh, it even has the theme manager so you can download any CM9 or uh, that's just telling me that Netflix isn't working. Uh, you can download any CM9 or AOKP theme from the Play Store and apply it here in the Theme Chooser on the fly, which is really cool. So to install this, you're going to download it directly to your phone. You're going to boot into recovery whichever way you get there. So like if you're uh, on Gingerbread, well, you need to be on 605 or 602 to install this. Uh, you will boot into recovery however you get there. I use Boot Menu. So whenever I power down the phone and power it up, when the blue light comes up, I press volume up, and that gets me into recovery. Uh, for some of you, you'll be using the Droid 2 Bootstrapper or Droid X Bootstrapper. You'll get there that way. Uh, but whenever you get to recovery, you're just going to wipe data, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik cache, and install Liquid. And if I remember, the G apps are included, so you shouldn't have to install a separate G apps. But that's how you install that, guys. If you enjoyed this, you can follow me at droidmoderx.com, where I cover Android and technology. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking right here. If you want to see more DroidX tutorials, I will bring them to you as long as you guys show me that there's a demand. If you want to see more DroidX tutorials, be sure to click on the like button. Um, favorite it if you want to. Share it with your friends and all of that good stuff. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.